You may have often heard it said that you put a million monkeys in front of a typewriter and eventually they're going to type Shakespeare. Well, we're going to find out. Okay, um, I got the number of keys on my keyboard. I come up with 89. Typical typewriter would have 44. You know what, let's make it easy on these monkeys. Let's say we have letters in the English alphabet and the space bar. 27. Okay, the probability. Um, Shakespeare, um, Hamlet. Let's take Hamlet. Hamlet has oh, about 10 to the 5th characters in it. I mean, letters, spaces, so on. So, the probability from randomly typing on our 20, special 27 key keyboard is 1 over 27 times 10 to the 5th. That's 100,000. This is our probability. It is, let's see if we can put this more clearly, 10 to the power of some number. Now to, now to find this, if you remember your logarithms, we'll want to take the natural log of both sides, the, the base 10 log of both sides, and we can solve for x. Now the wrong way to solve this is to, sol is to plug this into your, this part into your calculator and then take the log. Your calculator will choke on that and just give you a zero. We want to simplify this first using our logarithm rules. So we get log 10 of 1 over 27. Okay, well, we can uh, anyone can solve this with a calculator. We plug this into the calculator, we get negative 1, 4, 3, 1, 3, 6. In other words, the probability is, from just typing randomly out 100,000 characters, is 10 to the negative 143rd one six one three six. Okay, so in other words, 10 over positive this amount. It's not going to happen. Um, Okay, but let's let's say these monkeys have been we we have a lot of these monkeys. Let's say we have well let's see world population is six point seven seven five times ten to the ninth, so six point seven billion people. Let's say we have even a bit more monkeys, ten to the tenth. Age of the universe. The entire universe has lasted thirteen point seven five, give or take a bit, billion years. You know what? Let's round up. Let's even include that. Let's round up 10 to the 18th seconds. Do a bit of math, we can get that. These are fast monkeys. Let's say they type 100 keys per second. Really fast monkeys. Okay? Oh, and you know what? Let's not be picky. Why do we just have to get Hamlet? Let's get any book. Let's, let's, we're going to assume they're still the same length, just to keep our calculations easy. But you know what? How many books are in the library? Books are in the Library of Congress. We have some 22 million. Okay, let's round that up to uh, 100 million, 10, 10 to the 8th. So we'll multiply each of these numbers, each of these numbers, and we'll get 10 to the 32nd. How does that change our probability? Well, we multiply them. We multiply this times that. What's that give us? Well, 10 to the 143rd, 0, 0.98 is our new probability. Okay, you know what? Big numbers, you know, they, they fool you. How big is this number really? This means if our universe were to, were to repeat itself, 10 to the 143rd 0, 0.98 times the entire universe were to repeat itself this many times this would happen once 
once. Just once. This is 10 with 143,098 zeros after it. 10 with that many zeros. You know, you can't even write that many. Um, a Google, maybe you've heard the number of Google, G O O L, G O O G O L. That's 10 to the 100. This number dwarfs that number easily. If it takes this many universes with um, with this many monkeys uh, typing this entire time, this fast, looking for any book in the Library of Congress, essentially, our question is, can monkeys type it? No. No. Not really. In all practical senses, the answer is no. In some slight technical sense, you could argue yes, but no. Not in our universe. It has to happen in our universe for it to make any sense. If it doesn't happen in our universe, you might as well be talking to Peter Pan. It doesn't make any sense. It takes this many universes for it to happen once, under these highly unrealistic conditions. So, I'm sorry, monkeys. Monkeys don't write Shakespeare.